Hi folks, this is Jake McDonnell. I'm the librarian and registrar at the Commonwealth School and today we're going to be talking about how to use the Commonwealth Library and specifically the online catalog that we have for searching books. So what we're going to be covering explicitly would be, as I mentioned before, the Commonwealth Library website, the library catalog itself, and then our webpage for different research guides, which is called LibGuides. So we're going to go ahead and um, head on over to the Commonwealth School webpage, which is commschool.org. We're going to go on over to Academics tab, wander on down to the library, and I'm just going to go ahead and point out a number of things that we got on the library webpage over here. Um, so we have a bit of a mission statement in this top period, or top block right here. We've got a link to a libguide that talks about what um, new acquisitions we have in the library. This is fiction, nonfiction books, and just sort of showcases what um, uh, development efforts we have for the library collection itself. And then right here, there is an explicit link to the library catalog. But before I go ahead and click on that, I want to make sure that I cover some of the other bases here. Um, we've got this tab on helpful information for using the Commonwealth Library Catalog, Resources and Database. So this link to the LibGuide right here has a uh, more specific um, explanatory uh, research guide that talks about sort of the different um, documents and different um, database features and library catalog features that we have available to us as members of the Commonwealth community through the library in detail. So. Um, when we go into the actual research guide section of this video, I'll um, explain a little bit about that libguide and uh, the materials that it has. Um, and, you know, a lot of this is specific to Commonwealth students, so you need to have your um, Commonwealth um, email logged in when you're um, going through this libguide and then accessing the Google Drive documents that are on there. Um, there's also additionally a Google form right here, uh, which is designed uh, for suggestions about um, book orders. And then as you go further down, you can see um, numerous pieces of information about databases, about research guides, recommending a purchase. Um, yeah, and you can just sort of browse what electronic resources that we have made available to students and faculty and sort of broadly our community um, as a library. And then additionally, if you're looking for information on course books, summer reading, the library catalog itself, or recommended reading, you can do that. Um, and then this is a link to the Virtual Commonwealth Library page, which is occasionally used for um, virtual meeting spaces. So with all that said, why don't we just go ahead and get over to the library catalog. Okay, so while looking at this page, you can see that we've got a sign in button, we've got a My Account button, We've got some reset, a home, and then a big search bar, and then some sidebars here. So starting off, let's, let's look at the sign-in feature. Um, if you are a student at Commonwealth, you've been given and enabled an account. Um, your password will um, be just simply four zeros until you go ahead and change that. Um, and that's a very simple process once you're in. I'll go ahead and show that when we do get logged in. And then your login name is similar to your um, Commonwealth School email address, which is your first initial, and then your last name. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. And then in the event that I wanted to change my password, I would go over to this My Account tab and then do this Change Login and Password thing. So the reason why you want to have um, an account logged in for this is because you're able to reserve books, you're able to search the catalog um, in a legitimate way, and um, you can also sort of check the status of different holdings that we have. Um, so with that in mind, let's think about good search strategies that you can use when navigating the Commonwealth School Library catalog. So to be expressly clear, this catalog is a electronic listing of all the print resources that we have in the library. So every single book that is on the shelves in the library itself is listed electronically here, and its availability is shown as well. So if another student has checked this uh, book out, then you'll, it will explicitly say that. Um, additionally, you can sort of select the library. Of course, we've only got one main library here, which is the Commonwealth School Library. And then this Anywhere button 
um, it changes what field you're searching in. So whether that's subject, which is more of a keyword-based search. So you know, say I'm thinking about ancient history, I might look up um, you know Roman uh, architecture um, or you know something along those lines. Rome uh, might be a good keyword to have if you want broad search results. Additionally, we have author and title, which are very straightforward. You type in the author or the title of your book um, that you're interested in, and you're able to pull some search results that are relevant, hopefully. So let's go ahead and do a simple search. Um, the movie Dune just came out, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, look that one up. I know it's been very popular, so let's see what's, uh, what results we get here. So now we've looked up Dune, obviously, and as we can see in this top right-hand corner over there, it says zero of one available. So someone has checked it out. Obviously, it's a popular book right now, given that the movies come out, um, and we are unable to check it out from the library. But that being said, it says very clearly right there um, what it is, or whether or not it's available, and then what it is. And you can go ahead and click this link if you're looking for more information about the book itself. And what it will reveal is the location, which is the Commonwealth School Library, the call number, the barcode, the status, which is on loan, it's unavailable currently, and when it's due, so it's a little bit overdue actually currently. And then it's got the author, title and date, ISBN, publisher, various pieces of identifying information about the book itself, um, you know, whether it's topics and genre, um, author notes, a bit of a summary. So if you come to these pages, you can get like a real good sense of what the book is about, what some of the core ideas are, and what the tone of it might be. So obviously we've got a full excerpt here, obviously from the first chapter, which I think is you know a particularly um, useful tool if you're looking to get a taste of a book without necessarily checking it out from the get-go. Another thing on this page that I'll point out is this reserve button. In the event that you can click it, um, that means that there's usually a copy available and that you're putting, you're asking me as a librarian to put that aside for you. So you can come in at a later point and pull the book and use it for research or, you know, read it on your own if it happens to be something like Dune that's a bit more casual and light fiction reading. Um, so while I'm on this page and I'm looking at the um, call number over here, that sort of brings me to this broader point of navigating the physical space of the Commonwealth Library. And I'll just share that um, for call numbers in fiction, particularly, it starts on the back wall uh, projector side and is done alphabetically um, by author's last name. So Herbert would be in the H section and obviously it goes um, you know, A to Z and it, it's rather straightforward. However, um, the other sections of the library, which are more typically nonfiction, collections of essays, poems, um, art books, things that sort of fall outside of the spectrum of traditional um, fiction narratives and um, that are available in fiction sections, um, are categorized in the Dewey Decimal System, which is a numbers-based system uh, starting with uh, three zeros and going all the way up to um, 999, um, around 1,000, and each of these different numbers by the tens is a categorically different topic, um, and it goes down even to decimal point levels of specificity, um, and those numbers begin behind the librarian desk near the back window and start off at zero and then wrap around the library, and if you're facing that librarian desk, they wrap right, um, so they go along uh, the wall to the back doors and then from the back doors onward um, to the front doors um, and then until that back wall turns into fiction itself. So there are um, guides specifically about the Dewey Decimal System that are posted outside of the front door of the library and of course you can approach me, the librarian, at any point to ask about a specific topic and where you might find that within the Dewey Decimal System itself. So. You know, now that we have a, a bit of a sense of the Commonwealth Library um, catalog, um, I think it is, um, might be a good idea for us to head back to the main page here by clicking the Home button and then going down to this Research Guides tab. So, as you guys can see, um, this brings you over to a separate web page, which is comschool.libguides.com, and it's got a pretty extensive list of um, research guides and uh, pieces of helpful information that 
are broadly available to you um, for your research papers for history, for you know different courses like biology. You know, there's a, a citation guide which I think is sort of malleable and useful for a number of classes here at Commonwealth as well. There's information about dive in. And then something that I really want to point uh, your attention to is this using the Commonwealth Library page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm just going to point to a number of um, different resources that are available here. So first and foremost, we've got a student and faculty library suggestions form. Um, so in the event that you have input or ideas about what the library collection should look like, how the physical space itself should be shaped, and, and um, you know, what affordances it should have, uh, for the patrons, uh, being you guys, um, you're more than welcome to submit ideas and, and suggestions to me via this form. Um, additionally, if you need to contact me for any type of other in, uh, information related to the library, you can reach out to me at this email here that's publicly listed. Um, furthermore, there's some library policies, just sort of um, rotating around the idea of uh, making sure that this is a respectful, quiet, calm, and clean working space so that um, people can be navigating um, the Commonwealth Library and their research papers and whatnot in an um, easy fashion and in a calm way. Okay, so over here, this uh, important resources and links section I think is really important, um, obviously as the name suggests. Um, we've got uh, quick tips for using the Commonwealth Library Catalog. Um, this is a detailed step-by-step -step photo um, PDF with annotations from the previous librarian about how to best use the library catalog. So it's sort of reinforcing and going over the ideas that I talked about um, at the beginning of this video. There's a link to the Commonwealth Library itself. There's a, um, a document guide on how to use your library account how to check out a library book. Um, it's rather straightforward. Many of you likely already know at this point, but there's a checkout sheet um, at the front of the room that is available for students and faculty to use in the event that I am not there. If I am there, I'm more than welcome to just merely bring the book up to me and say, hey, I'd like to check this out, and I'd be happy to help you with that. And then additionally, we've got library orientation for new students. This reviews some of the um, ideas about the Dewey Decimal System, the physical organization of the library, and the various resources that are available to students and faculty as members of the Commonwealth community at the library um, in greater detail than um, uh, one might uh, sort of get from a casual conversation. Um, so these are sort of uh, hard-boiled and set right there. And then finally we've got this database password uh, master list. So in the event that you need access to ArtStore, JSTOR, any of the Gale um, electronic suite and services provided through their databases. Um, you know, we also have one-off subscriptions to some publications like the New Yorker, the New York Times, um, the Boston Globe. Uh, this master password list is available for you to use. Obviously, all these um, uh, links are linking out to Google Docs that are um, you know, require a Commonwealth um, school email address, so at comschool.org, in order to access them. So be sure that you are logged into your Commonwealth email when you're trying to click on these and trying to see what, um, what information is out there. Additionally, we've got some information on this page about library availability and the study hall itself. So obviously, in the first semester of the year, freshmen are expected to attend study hall in the library. And this means that um, there's sometimes questions about availability and about space usage. So we've got the library availability chart up here, and then also broadly information about study hall. You know, furthermore, to round out this page, we've got some important keywords and terms about the research process. Um, we've got some online research guides that provide general information and suggestions about how to begin the research process, how to um, sort of suss out what sources might be relevant, and just a number of things that will be helpful um, in particular for the research papers that you do in your history classes. And then ultimately we've got some recommendations for me, so obviously we did a do and search earlier, um, you know, you do this kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I would recommend checking this out, and I think that um, you know navigating through these 
five different resources in particular is something that's worthwhile and um, should be something that you can you know fall back on regularly. Now I'm just going to go back onto this LibGuides page and, and really hammer home that there are some wonderful resources here that have been developed by the past few librarians. Um, you know, particularly the Ancient History Research Guide for freshmen out there is a wonderful starting point when you're thinking about the complicated nature of compiling sources for a longer, you know, four to five, five to six page paper that needs outside sources like Cambridge History Online chapters or JSTOR articles. So this is a pretty comprehensive and thorough guide um, that is catered towards you as Commonwealth uh, students in particular, and I would really recommend it. Um, I'm just also going to point out two ones that I think are particularly interesting. The first being Commonwealth authors. So if there happen to be alumni or um, you know uh, folks that have uh, been a part of the Commonwealth community as teachers that have gone on to write something, uh, you know I know Atessa Moshve who wrote uh, My Year of uh, Rest and Relaxation, which was a big smash hit book, uh, is an alum. So, you know, I think that's really cool and I think it's worthwhile um, to get a sense of what um, Commonwealth students do after they go on and graduate and enter the world as writers. And then finally, this What's New in the Library page. Um, I think this is really great. We've got sort of a long, um, you know, multi-year list of, of uh, acquisitions over the past, you know, five or six years and it uh, you know, provides a link to the actual um, catalog listing of these books, as well as a general description and identifying information like an ISBN. Um, and they're categorized into different um, topics, whether it's a fun read, a new fiction, um, new science fiction and fantasy. Um, they're sort of all sort of broadly uh, categorized and uh, shared here. So if you're interested in what uh, the library has done in terms of diversifying or um, you know expanding its collection this is a great place to come and check that out so this sort of covers some of the key ideas and, and themes for Commonwealth specific library um, resources and web pages uh, additionally I'll just really hammer home that in the event that you have any major questions about this process and about how to use the library itself and what resources we have um, available I would really come to me and um, you know just feel free to ask any questions and you know once again you know big reminder that a lot of these resources are um, all sort of cohesively and uh, listed here on the library webpage particularly um, the A to Z database list is, is really great um, and you know all, uh, there's we have a real range of um, databases as you can see here ranging from you know accessible archives with primary sources to criminal justice specific collections um, of scholarly articles to you know gender studies and so on so I think it's a really rich um, selection of online resources and totally worthwhile um, for capstone projects for research papers and history for individual growth and uh, intellectual pursuits um, so yeah that concludes this video which broadly touches on some of the different um, features of Commonwealth Library um, web presence. So thanks for listening and goodbye.